Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon evening mountain weather update. My first stop is back in the Sierra. This is Kirkwood. And, you know, we looked at this camera last, uh, yesterday, last night, and it was mainly rain at this elevation. And it's been mainly snow now. The snow levels have, been, have dropped back to about 8,000 to 8,500 feet, somewhere in there. Um, there's your view, though, at Cornus. And here's the, uh, the Red Cliffs view. It's all snow there as well. So I think these, these levels are going to be maintained, 8,000 to probably 8,500 feet, the rain-snow line tonight and more than likely uh, during the day tomorrow on 1220. So that's part of my uh, bullet points here. California precip continues tonight into tomorrow. And those snow levels remain about the same. Looking at the rest of the West, there is a question now about the merger potential of the northern energy coming in from the Pacific Northwest and the southern track low. If it doesn't happen early enough, then, I, then we're only going to get light snow in the Wasatch. The earlier it happens and the more development there is, the more snow we get in the Wasatch, the more snow we get in Colorado, the more snow we get in Wyoming and northern New Mexico. If it's weaker and it happens later, then all the amounts are going to be a bit lower. So that that is one question at this hour in that uh, in that forecast for 1223 and 1224. So the the numbers have of really bouncing around. There's a lot of movement with the forecast totals. Looking at the northeast, I don't have anything until 1226 through 28. And then during that period we could have a large storm system with snow and a little bit of colder air, uh, which is what we absolutely need um, in the Northeast, Vermont, New Hampshire, New York State, and also Maine. So that's something down the road that I'll watch. But I want to take you back and I want to show you water vapor uh, satellite imagery at this hour. So there's our trough of low pressure that continues to push moisture into the Sierra with the heaviest snow above 8,000, 8,500 feet rain mainly below that level. Now there's there's additional energy right here behind it. So this low will dive to the south and become the southern track. The issue is this spacing in here. You see that? While this low will hit the Pacific Northwest and then make a move um, to Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, the spacing between the two, the timing might be off and the merger could be late. So if it's late, we get weaker totals. I mean, that's really the bottom line. Here's the forecast radar on satellites. That's the current. Uh, that's the current state of affairs. So watch the energy. This is the latest. It's all going to spin out and uh, move down into the southern tier of states, down towards Arizona, and then eventually New Mexico. Here comes the the low into the Pacific Northwest. So here's the magical moment, right here, 12:23 in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. You got your southern track low four corners, northern branch energy with colder air swinging in through Montana and Idaho. And potentially, again, the earlier the merge, the more snow we get for uh, Utah and Wyoming and Colorado. We'll watch the, uh, the forecast here. So this is during the uh, afternoon by 4 p.m. You can still see there's energy hanging back to the west with that initial low plowing through the four corners into Colorado and New Mexico. So by the time we get into 1224 in the morning, so this is New Year's Eve in the morning, New Christmas Eve in the morning, 615, um, there is some development, some merger but the low is even further north. It's way up into parts of Wyoming now. So that, that actually takes Colorado out of some of the heavier snow in New Mexico. It pulls it even further away from New Mexico. So it's kind of a late merger, and the track as a result of, of a non-deepening low is a little further north as well. And the final phase um, right there, the low is moving away by uh, 1224 um, Christmas Eve in the, in the afternoon, evening hours. So it would be moving away at that point. So overall, let me just show you the jet pattern before we get into the numbers. This is 1224. There's still a trough a dip in the jet over Wyoming, Colorado. Not quite as deep as what we looked, about, we looked at this morning, but there's still some energy there for sure. Looking further down the road, I still like what I'm seeing towards New Year's and into January. Powerful Pacific jet. You can see that streak coming off and starting to aim at California. So um, definitely watching late in the period, New Year's into January for that pattern shift. Colder air and a big trough. As far as the numbers, again, not much here early in the period. Very light accumulations. Now in California, these are mid-mountain forecast numbers. So if you're above, you know, 8,000, 8,500 feet, you're, you're definitely going to see heavier snow um, totals than what I'm showing right there. So this is 1223 through 1228. And again, most of this action 
in Utah, Wyoming, Colorado happens on 1223 and 1224. And this is kind of, I've kind of took a middle uh, ground approach. I backed off a little bit from what I was thinking earlier today, but um, so we're kind of, kind of in a happy medium right here. Uh, four to 10 inches in Colorado, uh, four to six across the Tetons, uh, probably six to eight for uh, the Laramie Range and the Snowy Range there in Wyoming and Hogaden. Uh, Keeping probably six, seven inches for Alta, but I've definitely backed that off a little bit. We'll see what tomorrow and the data looks like tomorrow and what the storm track looks like tomorrow. Uh, California are obviously going to see some benefit there in that period for some snow as the levels can just drop even a little bit more. We'll start to get more snow, you know, at lower elevations, but that's the way it looks right now. Let me show you the, uh, the northeast here. One more uh, forecast map. And again, the bulk of this, 99% of it comes 1226 through 1228. So very late in the period. The numbers are pretty similar to what I was thinking earlier today. Anywhere from four, five, six, seven, eight inches of snow. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, afternoon, evening, dinner time update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.